okay there. Uh, we are now on the section on motion at constant acceleration. So by this time you should uh, understand uh, the difference between uh, velocity, speed, be able to, to uh, analyze the uh, relationship between position versus time and velocity versus time. So, um, so let's quickly review in terms of um, what you've learned so far. Um, so you, you know that if the object is moving, increasing its displacement at a constant rate, uh, the object will have uh, a constant uh, velocity. So if you look at this, this plot of, of graph, you'll see a, a straight line because the car is moving at a constant velocity, which means that the same displacement takes place in each time interval. So that average velocity is always the same and is equal to uh, the change in position over change in time. However, what if the velocity change? So in the figure here and then on the data you'll see that the position versus time is not a straight line because the velocity of the car is changing. So we can still draw a straight line uh, between any two points, so just a quick review to find the slope uh, which gives us the average velocity for that particular time interval. So in general here, the average velocity of the object during the time interval is equal to the slope of the straight line joining the initial and final points on a graph of the object's position versus time. So the average velocity is between the points uh, that is shown by the blue lines. So we will try to, to do the mathematical process and we calculated and we have that result. So in this case, there are different average velocity between any distinct pair of points. So given that, we cannot say that it has a constant velocity. So we need a new concept uh, in science and that is what we referred to as acceleration. So when you are driving your car, it is rare you travel for long distances at constant velocity. And the velocity of the car increases when you, when you step harder on the gas uh, pedal and decreases when you apply the brakes. So the velocity also changes when you round a curve, uh, changing your direction of motion. So the changing of the object's velocity with time is called acceleration. So in the figure of the car moving a straight highway, uh, at, at certain time it has a velocity initial and at time uh, final it has that velocity final. So the average acceleration during the time interval is the change. So the delta, the triangle is a representation of a change in divided by the change in time. So the unit for acceleration is meter per second per second. Sometimes you can write down meter per second per second. Uh, there are other units such as kilometer per hour, per hour, uh, miles per hour. So these are some units, but we use metric. So we use the metric unit of measurement, such as meters, kilometers, centimeters, and so on and so forth. Um, that's uh, the unit of acceleration. So if we are going to imagine the car accelerates at an initial velocity of and then the final velocity of and in a time interval of two seconds and both velocities will move towards the right so we know that the the object is accelerating in a positive direction so um, another thing that you have to know is you should know the difference between scalar and vector so acceleration is a vector quantity having dimensions of length uh, divided by the time squared and the average acceleration for this car is positive 5 meter per second squared. You can get rid of the positive and that's a, a den, uh, denote that it's positive. But if it's negative, take note that you have to write the negative sign. So average acceleration, uh, a few things uh, in the case of motion in a straight line. So this is pretty important uh, if the velocity, if the velocity and acceleration is in the same direction the object is accelerating. If the velocity and acceleration are opposite direction and therefore the object is slowing down. So if you are going into your uh, garage and then you're moving 
towards your garage uh, and then you are decreasing your speed with time so you could refer to it as deceleration so here we have initial uh, velocity final velocity and you could see that the direction of the acceleration is negative however the velocities in here you could see would be the average would be in a different direction so when the velocity again and the acceleration are in the same direction the speed of the object increase with time when objects velocity uh, and acceleration are in opposite direction the speed of the object decreases by time so that's a mathematical way quantitative way in determining acceleration another thing we can take note of is how do we determine the displacement of an object moving at a constant acceleration so let's take a look at oh we put a little bar in there we we'll take a look at this graph uh, since the object is moving in a in a positive forward direction let's let's consider this to be moving in that path so the displacement can be determined by looking at the area under the curve so if you notice here we have two different shapes right so we have a triangle so in order to determine the area of a triangle you have one half base times height and you want to determine the area of the rectangle so you have base times height so knowing that the area is our displacement correct so knowing the area is our displacement we can say that is the change in displacement one half and knowing our time with our base and height we can change this interchangeably so we can write it properly in terms of motion equation so we could say uh, so we have time here change in time and the velocity in the x direction so let me just rewrite it the usual uh, thing we would write and this one would be change in displacement uh, velocity times time okay so we can uh, combine this two so if, if we want to find the total displacement so we would add the area of the triangle under the curve plus the area of a rectangle to give us the total displacement correct so if we want to find the total displacement so we would end up with an equation as times time plus one half a t squared because the uh, triangle in here the base in here since it's changing its its uh, velocity so the velocity here is changing so it's changing its velocity and in this case so the change in velocity is what we've talked about is acceleration so we could replace that change in velocity change in velocity change in time which is acceleration so uh, simplifying that we would end up with this equation so we can rewrite this as this equation plus one half a on the horizontal t squared and we can simplify this to find the final distance so we can do that as well so we would end up with this equation plus x times t plus one half a t squared sorry it's kind of like a little mess up in here so there you go so you can verify this equation on your textbook it's found on page 22 so on how it was derived so um, that's it in terms of uh, quantitative analysis of motion at a constant acceleration so we're gonna apply these equations uh, when we get into our pi stays and that's it